Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. Today we're looking at a Crosley stack unit. Okay, so in order to get the top base panel section off, basically, uh, we need to take the screws off the side, inner side panels here. One there, and one here on this side, down there. Normally there's a top screw here holding this, but these are broken off, so we can't do much with that. There's actually a screw on the bottom that holds the front panel on right here. That screw right there will hold the, the panel on good enough. And there's a couple of screws in the back that pulls the uh, the top panel top panel off. So this is actually here's your model number here. Right there, Crosley Corporation, 07 model. CDG 400 so in order to take this bottom panel off basically there's a screw here and a screw there to take those screws off and then you can push the thing up here and then you can get to the screws that hold that bottom panel on Okay, so in order to get to the belt action, you can take it off easily enough if you take the panel off here, but it's not too easy to put it back on this way, so you'll have to take the bottom panel off the back here. Yeah, let's see if we can see anything in here, but basically, yeah, it's in there, uh, basically, back in there, and... Basically, uh, you have to sort of remember how the belt came off in order to put it on. So this one was making a thump, thump, thump noise. And on this one, this is the top felt. And that top felt is, is hitting right here. It's, it's worn below this lip right here what I'm going to do temporarily is right you can, I don't know if you can see that but right there sticks out a little bit and that's probably what's making that thump noise so I'm just going to take my wrench and squash this edge down this metal edge and see if that will cause it to stop thumping and meanwhile I'll order this felt and probably these skids here, these Teflon plastic skids, should be replaced. If we look at the main bearing on the back, that still looks good. So I'm going to leave that alone, lube it a little bit. That still looks good. And so, see this one's set up for propane, it has the large uh, cap on it. So that's your, now these models here, actually this is, I believe it's a Westinghouse design, they use it on several models, Kenmore, Whirlpool models, same setup. So that's your tip for today. If you need any help, you can contact me at laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com or appliancework at yahoo.com. Give me a call at 707-445-1591.